Hey everyone, Lick Friday and it's a new year one. So apologies for not being around for the past two weeks, but this is your Lick coming up right now. <laughs> That was it, so um, it's a new year, a new type of lick in a sense. Um, so what I've got, or what you've got, is a track which I posted a long time ago. It's an 80s, 90s blues rocky jam. Um, it's more in the style of extreme, so you could say sort of Nuno Betancourt style. And uh, it's pedaling a lot on one string, so it's gonna work your right hand and your left hand coordination. Um, if you're not used to doing that then just take it slow keep it even and all that sort of stuff now for the track itself jam wise when you've clicked on that link below for the jamming track um, if you basically use a minor pentatonics that will work absolutely fine but you can also throw in the dorian notes so um, yeah well just bring in those dorian notes if you like so if you're unsure of what notes they are you can go onto my website which is guitarjammingtracks.com and download the dorian mode pdf which is all free and also the tab for this lesson which is all free how good is that now if you do want the guitar profile you can visit my patreon page um, which is patreon forward slash no patreon.com forward slash dance page i don't know why i i forget that every single week anyway um so yeah, that's it really, that's all we've got to say on it. So A minor, A Dorian, kind of works. Um, and uh, yeah, just have a bit of fun with it. Do it in your own way, your own time, take it at your own speed and you will enjoy it. If you are not used to this sort of playing, try it anyway. And um, I think you'll be surprised at the sort of techniques that you can learn and apply into your own bl more bluesier playing if you like. Um, so there you go, it all works, covers various different styles and you can bring it all into one pot if needed. Um, but there we are, I will leave you with that and leave you with the breakdown. So the breaking down, now easy enough. <laughs> entirely what you're used to but it's keeping your right hand going constantly without any kind of fluctuations in tempo so it's always good just to practice something like this along with the metronome now we're trying to fit four strikes in every beat so we're using 16th notes this means if you've got the beat going one two three four you've got one two Three, four. Okay, now note wise, we've got two strikes of the open string, so, and then it's fret three. And now you can either pull that off or just pick your way through it. So, okay, so we do three rounds of three, five, three, five, three. Five, then it goes seven eight okay so we've got op two open strings three and then three open strings and then it's five three open strings three open strings so with three open strings five three open strings and then another three with three open strings five with three open strings and then you go seven three open strings and then eight and then three open strings um, now you can pick your way through the whole lot so entirely up to you or you can pick um, some notes and pull off whenever you've got a fretted note so three pull off to zero which means you're only ever picking two zeros as well because you're pulling off to one of those so Now that is the route which I normally take, so 
just because I find it easier than doing that all the damn time. So, um, your route, your choice, take whichever one of those you want. But if you're pulling off, remember your anchor point. I've got a lesson on this as well, but remember your anchor point on your fretboard and you actually use your wrist to flick the string, okay? Don't just use your finger because you're going to end up with tendon problems. But if you want a little bit more in-depth focus on that, then visit the... Um, yeah, I might have a link below. If not, I'll put it in there. And, um, um, yeah, go and visit that video. But anyways, so after you've done the 7 and the 8, so we've got a section which... Get your fingers ready for this as well. So finger 4, finger 2, finger 1. Oh, sorry. You're pulling off from the 10 on the first string to the 8 and then to the uh, 7 so to fret 8 sorry fret 10 on the second string so okay so you should have that so this is why the pull off thing is quite important again I'm anchoring myself on the side of that fretboard and using my wrist to sort of pull and twist um, okay so once you've gone to fret 10 on the second string you've got fret 8 on the first you can either pull off again or pick um, to fret 7 on the first string, to fret 8 on the second, fret 9 on the third. So then you want to slide down to fret 7 on that third string from the 9. Okay, and then you've got fret 5 on the third string, fret 7 to fret 5 on the fourth. And then the little finger comes across to the second string, so you're skipping the third string out, going to fret 8, and then sliding on the beat up to fret 10. So that should be... Okay, now um, I think I just said slide from set at 9 to 7, but it's actually pick 9 to 7, and then slide from 7 to 5. Anyway, either way it's going to work, so it's just a different way of playing it, different technique and a different sound, slightly different sound that you're going to get from it. So, I'll play it slow for you now. Here we go. One, two, three. So that's a lick. Um, yeah, well, I hope you got on well with it. And as I said, it's, it does cover different styles if you use these techniques into your own playing. So if you're more bluesy, then you can just sort of use that sort of pedaling technique, the left and right hand coordination technique, to do different things. Maybe bringing in one string and sort of, uh, yeah, maybe bringing in that one string and going. I don't know. You know, you can do whatever you like. Um, but at the end of the day, it's down to you what you do with it. So if you're not sure of it, take it slow. If you want to just completely rock out with it, add some other stuff in yourself. It's your lick. So, um, and I will leave you on that. Apart from to say, Happy New Year, everyone. And don't forget to follow the links that pop up there and there to find your various different PDFs and Guitar Pros and Patreonage and all that sort of stuff, which is all very handy and helps fund these videos. So much appreciated. Anyway, see ya.